Up until I figured out my cowl cutting system, people just wouldn't believe that I actually cut this cowl. The holes actually match the things sticking out of them, and they look about the right size. And I've got a nice tight fit on the spinner. So people are wondering, did I suddenly get smart? No, I just figured out a better way of doing it that makes it easier for me to do it. To start with, I cut a strip of cardboard for each one of the mounting screws that hold the cowl in place. Then I stack them up and drill one small hole through one end. And then I thread one of the cowl mounting screws through each of the holes. I install one of the strips at each of the cowl mounting holes. And move the strips towards horizontal, pointed towards the back of the plane. And then I use a piece of masking tape to hold it in place. I use a larger piece of masking tape than looks necessary so that it holds this strip very securely and there's no side to side movement. And then we repeat the process for each of the mounting holes. Now I can slide the cowl into place making sure it goes underneath those cardboard strips. For the time being we'll leave the cowl loose. Next we have to install the spinner and its backing plate and lock down the bolt because we need the backing plate at its final position. We don't need a prop on at this point as that just gets in the way. I want the gap between the spinner's back plate and the cowl to be between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch. So I cut a few pieces of the right thickness balsa and slip them in between. Now we can carefully align the cowl with the spinner. Once we're satisfied with the alignment, we can get some masking tape and start running pieces across the cowl to the spinner. Make sure you don't move the cowl when you apply the tape. We want to hold it exactly as it is. The large openings next to the spinner mean we can't get more masking tape right there. So we want to further stabilize the cowl. On this cowl I added pieces of masking tape to the sides of the cowl between all of the mounting holes. Just to make sure that the cowl is good and rigid. Go back and make sure that the cowl and spinner are still in alignment. Then using a felt tip pen, I go back and carefully mark the screw locations for each of the mounts. I like using the felt tip pen because it makes a good mark we don't have to push hard on the cowl. Now we can remove the cowl and drill the appropriate size holes for each of the mounting screws. Now we can mount the cowl with the screws and check the backing plate to make sure we still have the right gap between it and the cowl. Next I start tracing the things that are actually going to stick through the cowl. After making a loose trace, I go over and smooth out all the lines and make it so the opening just looks better. After carefully cutting out the first drawing, I use that to trace the second one that will go on the other side of the cowl. This not only saves time, but it helps get both sides looking the same. Here I'm going to trace one of the muffler down tubes and just get the initial size started. I start with just a simple line drawn all the way around the tube. We know that almost all exhaust tube openings have to be turned into slots so we can get the cowl onto the airplane. By doing it this way I can use a straight edge to make nice clean edges all the way around and get a good looking slot. I start out fairly short because we can elongate these pretty easily later on. Now we can put the parts back on the engine and take the template and place it around those objects so they're lined up nicely. Again I use a good sized piece of masking tape to make sure we have no side to side movement. And I do the same thing to locate the slots around the exhaust tubes. When satisfied with the position I tape the template down. After removing the parts that stick through the cowl we reattach the cowl using its screws. Normally I use a fine felt tip pen to mark the openings that I have to cut. This time I thought I'd try putting some masking tape on and drawing the lines on there and cutting through that. That works okay, but I think I'm going to go back to just using the felt tip pen. This is where taking the time to make a nice clean template means we're going to get a better result the first time we cut the cowl. I trace out all of the openings I'm going to have to cut before I remove the cowl. When it comes to actually cutting the openings, nothing beats a good rotary tool, a nice sharp bit, and taking your time. I used to have to put these cowls on and take them off several times before I got the fit just right. Using this system, I had two minor fit problems when I first put the cowl back on. It was easy to clean those up, and the next time I bolted the cowl up, it stayed on. Now, instead of making odd remarks about my cowl jobs, people are asking me, did you do this? So it's official. This is one of those deals where if I can do it, you sure can. 
Just take your time and all will be fine.